yes, yes, crew, back once again. So we're now discussing connecting your devices to your computer. So by now you should have your keyboard controller set up. That would be via USB connected to a USB port. It's better to wire your USB port direct into um, the computer itself rather than putting it on, on a hub. If you have to put it on a hub because you don't have enough um, ports available, uh, I know that a machine uh, doesn't work very well on hubs and a lot of other controllers don't, but you can test yours on a hub. If you get a decent hub, there's one by a company called Anker, A-N-K-E-R, not Wanker, Anker, yeah, A-N-K-E-R. Now, the Anker, um, is is a it's a self-powered one and, and i believe that the, the the issue with a lot of these um connectors uh, and these keyboards are that they rely on the power to draw from the computer so make sure you have a powered one that should that should assist you and help you to uh resolve that any problems with that okay so you've connected your key you've got your keyboard connected your um on your audio interface uh I have a video here which which describes how to connect up your audio interface to a pair of monitors. I just, um, I, you know, appreciate if you guys can go and check that out in the meantime. So, guys, uh, that kind of concludes that part of uh, the connecting and uh, etc. So now let's get started into how we're going to put down our first beat. So initially, when you're producing a track, right? I would recommend sitting down with your samples and work out exactly what you want to do, what you're trying to achieve. And I know sometimes creativity just comes as a as an idea, but initially just to get started, I would suggest collecting a set of samples and putting them into categories. When you put them into categories, you would have say for example uh, I'm going to use this for the bass line, this bass sound. I'm going to use this for the vocal. I'm going to have an effect in my song, a little sound effect. And try to keep things simple. I'm going to use this break or these two breaks or these three breaks. Or I'm going to use the shuffle from this break and I'm going to use the kick drum from this break. Or I'm going to use just kick drums and break beats over the top with some little shuffles. Have plan in advance. Now... You don't always plan and plan in advance because cr creativity doesn't always come by planning. It just comes as in the form of an idea. Uh, vocal wise, what am I going to do with the vocal? Am I going to use a film sample? Am I going to use a, a, a ragamuffin style sample? Am I going to use a singing style vocal? What sort of song am I going to make? Also, when you choose your sounds, um, choose perhaps maybe a, a, a group of sounds that possibly would go well together. You can't possibly know until you try it. Making a song is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's like just as you go along, you're, you're piecing it together and you don't know how it's going to turn out. And eventually it comes together. It may not come together in, in one hour. It may not come together in two hours. It may not come together in a day. Uh, but it might come together in, in, in months. I've done tracks before that have come together in a couple of hours. Uh, and those are the, sometimes those are the biggest ones. But at the same time, uh, when I say couple of hours, two, three, four hours, then you come back, you mix it down another day. But don't try to, you know, don't always try to do it all in one day. Don't force it and, unless it's naturally uh, there in that progression. So... Once uh, you, you've, you've, you've got to the point where you write your song um, and um, it, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're, you're happy with, with uh, how quick it comes together, maybe save it and then come back to it another day. All right, so guys, that's the basic foundation. So assuming now that you've got your samples, you've thought it all through, you know exactly what you want to do, or maybe you just, you know, on days sometimes you just want to experiment with beats. You don't actually want to even make a song, but those are good days just to sit there when you want to be in the studio, but you're not feeling that creative, to explore your sounds. Always explore your sounds on your modules. Uh, call up, you know, your 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 synthesizers. Go through and familiar familiarize yourself with the sounds. Mm. Just sit there flicking through, and you're gonna find nice sounds along the way that you can save and write down and maybe even just favorite, you know, mark them to your favorite if that's something that you like. 
interesting string, you know. Okay, another thing I would I would advise, and it's not hundred percent necessary in in this day and age. Um, I would advise um, learning about keyboards and notes, and learning about chords, and learning about what sounds in tune and what doesn't sound in tune. Um, even though this is not totally essential, um, it will help you along in your progress to writing tracks and um, you know understanding that you're not going to write something that's totally off key like out of tune or you don't want to be tone deaf not don't always want to be tone deaf when you're going into production um you know looking back at my early days i came into it practically tone deaf but had a good uh talent for hearing sounds and a lot of people are not keyboard trained and they can hear what's good and i appreciate that yeah so it's not always 100 percent about that but um, it does help to assist you. So, now, talking about Cubase now, um, we've got about three minutes left of this module, so what we're going to do next is we are going to uh, start by laying down the foundations of our song. So, the foundation of our song could be two types of foundation. It could be that you're going to mess about with the keyboards, and you're going to find something that you like, for example. Now, I haven't planned any of this uh, musically, I wanted to do this sort of uh, creatively. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let me just hook this underneath here and get it out of the way. Giving me hell. There we go. Get that out of the way. We don't want that in the way. Sorry, guys. I just want to get the headphones at lead out of the way here. Right. Okay. Great. Blood cloud jungle techno. Right, I'm gonna run on. I'm gonna run on. Run. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna battle with this now. I'm gonna run on a little bit more for you guys for that. Yeah. All right. So we got we got a couple more minutes on this module and a bit more now. Right. Okay. So you flick through. You flick through your sounds. Right. We got some nice drums there. All right, so I've got an idea of what I want to do anyway in this module. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of my sample packs on Samploids, uh, which I've already looked through. I, go, I click and I go to the file browser and... <laughs> Holy shamoly. Let me just lower this down, man. My ears can't take that. All oh, right, there we go. My old ears, man. I've smashed them out on that Amen Therapy every week. <laughs> All right, so... So we've got this nice little Amen here, right? We've got this nice little sounding Amen. I'm going to get that. And these are Rex files. So they are already timed up um, to any tempo that you want. And all you do is you simply drag them onto a blank area. See there where it says it's green? Drag it like that. Let go. And bang. It will uh, then uh, drag onto the playing field here, right? The, the actual canvas. Now, to zoom in and out of the canvas, uh, you would simply press G and H. Just like that, yeah? That gives you zoom in, zoom out. Now, this is a loop locator. And what you want to do with the loop locator, the loop locator will basically, uh, it, 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 a loop, a loop. for those of you who don't know what a loop is, it's, it's, it's what plays around and around and around, the repeat. This is like the repeat length of what you're listening to. Right? So what I would do is I grab this with the tape measure, with the, with the, uh, with the, with the pointer, mouse pointer, and then I'd drag that over to like four bars, right? Then I'd press the space bar. And that plays really slow. And as you can hear, the reason why that's playing slow is because it's it's made at a jungle speed, which is up around about 160 BPM. Uh, tempo of the songs are measured in BPMs. So this is, uh, jungle is about 160 BPM. So what we need to do at the moment, the sequencer that we're using is in is, is currently at 120 BPMs, right? So what I need to do here now, let me just get rid of this so you guys can see better, right? Sorry about this, guys. Just want to get rid of this part here. There we go, right? Okay, so we got we got the uh, the task manager, right? So as you can see here at the bottom the tempo is 120 
beats per minute. Okay, there, there we are. We've run out of time on this module so far, so but I'm going to carry on running for a little bit longer due to all the faffing about earlier, right? So I'm going to cancel that one. Oh, what did you stop now? Dismiss. Okay, so that's it. So I'll stop that now. All right, so what was I saying? I can't even remember what I was saying. So yeah, so we're going to set the tempo up. So literally 120 beats per minute. I'm now going to change the tempo. It's going to just literally double click there and click 158. Right, there you go. Or let's go, let's make it a little, little quicker. Let's go like 168 BPM. This is like what I usually run on the Amen Therapy. That's my one of my favorite optimal tempos. Not too fast. Not too slow, uh, you know, just the right tempo for me to get in a vibe. So I'll click on that. And down here, I'll, um, if you use the number pad, if, you've got, if you're fortunate enough to have number pads on your keyboard, I like to use the bigger keyboards and the number pads. That's for music production. But if number one and number two on the number pads will take you to the end and the start of that loop, yeah? You click on the uh, number one, uh, and down here is the loop on and off. What that does is if you play the loop... It'll it just plays past it and then carries on. So you want to put the loop on, which means that the top tape measure part here, yeah, it goes purple. These are measured, uh, these little measurements here are bars. One, two, three, four bars is one beat. So that would be beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four, so and so forth, right? So we press play. Now that that loop has actually just gone in time because it's it, it's coming from uh, the Aminosaurus pack, which is already on Sarploys right now. Um, it, it's very useful. It's got stacks of Amens in there. Uh, they play, you know, um, at any tempo. And there is actually a process to getting this working uh, at tempo, and uh, we, which is more an advanced uh, part of the module, part of the course. Uh, and uh, we'll we'll see how we go for getting that in the next uh, in the next module. So in in one of the, one of the later modules. So I'm going to play this, and this is just a basic loop. So I'm going to now press the click on the actual uh, the uh, loop, and then I'm going to press the alt key. And then just drag it over. And then I'm going to drag that four times. Right. And then we have made our first loop. Okay, guys. That's it for this module. That was our basic uh, module or for lay laying down uh, our beat, getting started. Uh, in the next module now, we are going to do uh, some cutting up of some of the beats uh, and making a bit more of a not so monotonous pattern uh, in the in the mix. So I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next module.